What do you owe each other? Here's what you owe each other. Let the husband render. You know what the word render means? It means to present. Let the husband render, present unto the wife do. You know what the word do means? It means you owe it to her. So God says, let the husband render, let him present what is due, what is owed to his wife. What is that? Let the husband render unto the wife do benevolence. You see the word benevolence there? What does that word mean? Kindness and goodwill. What do you owe your wife? To be kind, to love her, to be nice to her, to be a friend to her. And likewise, also the wife unto the husband. You know, it is your job to be each other's friends. It's your job to be kind to each other. To have good will towards each other. You owe each other kindness. Look at verse 4. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but let's just deal with it over here. The wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband, and likewise also the husband hath not power of his own body, but the wife. Defraud ye not another. Except to be with consent for a time, that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinence. Say, so what is that talking about? It's talking about a physical relationship between a husband and wife. Let me tell you something. The Bible teaches that you are to have physical relationships together, and your body, you say, it's my body. That's not what the Bible says. The wife has not power of her own body, but the husband, and likewise also, the husband has not power of his body, but the wife. That's what the Bible says. Was well, there ever a time that we can go a long time without having a physical relationship? If you're fasting and praying, but other than that, you ought to have access to each other. And to go a long time without a physical relationship is just going to bring temptation, and it's wrong, and it's a sin. Now understand this, okay? Verse 3 is in the context of verse 4 and 5. In verse 3, he says, show each other kindness. In verses 4 and 5, he says, have a physical relationship. Now you get, they're in a context for a reason. Here's what that means. Men, don't try to get a physical relationship without showing kindness. And women, don't try to get kindness without having a physical relationship. They go together. I can't believe you're saying it. It's the Bible. It's the Word of God. Amen. They know each other kindness. And guess what? You owe each other a physical relationship. Marriages where people are just like, we haven't been together in seven and a half years. That is a sin. That is wrong. You've got to get right with God. If you're listening to late wives, if you're just constantly the one saying, not tonight, i, I got to wash my hair, you got to get right with God. <laughs> it's a sin. It's wrong. That's what the Bible says. 